Good morning. Uh, my name is Ahmed Rai. I am the professor of hepatogastroenterology in Tudor Bilhaus Research Institute and the Faculty of Medicine, October 6 University, Egypt. I uh, want to thank Professor Patrick Marcelin, the president of the Paris Hepatitis Hepatology Conference and the organizing committee for inviting me to chair in this prestigious conference. I'm really happy that the chairperson of this session are Professor Marc Boulier and Professor Graham Foster, and I want to thank them. Well, my presentation uh, is elimination of hepatitis C virus by 2030 realistic, uh, the Egypt experience. Uh, at May uh, 2016, WHO set the target for elimination of hepatitis C virus by 2030. At that time, Egypt had the highest prevalence of hepatitis C virus infection, a consequence of the prevalence of schistosomiasis and its mass treatment by unsafe intravenous injection in the 1950 and to 1980. Well, uh, these are the milestones for hepatitis C virus treatment in Egypt. In 2006, there is establishment of the National Committee for Control of Viral Hepatitis and the start of the initiation of the viral hepatitis treatment centers. Uh, at this era, the only available treatment of hepatitis C, of hepatitis C as, as you know, is the pigulated interferon and ribavirin with very disappointing result. In 2014, the brand GA enters Egypt, and in 2016, the generic GA was available, either free or with, or with a low price, and were produced extensively. Uh, this could be considered the turning point of success of management of hepatitis C virus in Egypt. In 2017, surprisingly, the number of cases of hepatitis C virus were decreased and this uh, will lead to the launching of the first screening campaign. However, the largest screening campaign began at 2018. Well, uh, it is called the 100 million health campaign, the screening and treatment of program to eliminate hepatitis C virus in Egypt. In early 2018, the Egyptian government decided to embark on a massive effort to identify and treat all hepatitis C virus infected persons to achieve disease elimination over the shortest time period possible. The campaign were divided into three phases. Phase one include 13 millions, phase two, 18 millions, and phase three, 19 millions. And the population of Egypt was 100 million. Well, uh, this is uh, the report published in 2080 by, uh, by uh, Professor Imam Wakid in New England of Journal of Medicine. Uh, as you can see here, uh, 62 million, the target was so ambitious to treat 62 million to uh, screen and treat. Uh, however, uh, 49, more than 49 million uh, were available uh, in a period of seven months and uh, about uh, the percentage of positivity for hepatitis C, 4.6%. Uh, it is considered one of the largest disease screening campaign in the history. Uh, all patients were treated with Sophos Bouvier 400 mg and Daclatazir 60 mg with or without ribavirin for a duration of 12 or 24 weeks, depending on the presence or absence of cirrhosis. Where well, here uh, the result, the marvelous result of Sophodacla. Uh, here, 98% uh, had sustained virologic response and only 1-2% had treatment failure. The Egyptian experience using, uh, we can summarize it in, uh, in point. Uh, they use the, the easiest method to select and complete the job in a short time by rapid diagnostic test for hepatitis C virus antibody and real-time PCR. It has started from the base of the health systems, primary health care unit. The simplest information system using the tablet, using the PC, staff training was used. Also, highly equipped centers for viral hepatitis treatment. Although Egypt used to have the highest prevalence of hepatitis C virus infection in the world, the present result shows that hepatitis C virus zero prevalence among untreated persons is lower than that reported in the demographic health survey performed in 2015. Much of the decline in hepatitis C virus prevalence between 2015 and 2019 reflects the effect of treatment with direct acting antiviral drugs, and some relate to the background mortality 
uh, of HIV related mortality. Uh, the success of the campaign for hepatitis C via screening and treatment in Egypt is also related to the discovery of the highly efficient GAs that turned the treatment history of hepatitis C, uh, the wide uh, provision of the low-cost generic GAs in Egypt, and the support of the state with all its apparatus to the campaign. Conclusion, Egypt has managed to implement a successful nationwide hepatitis C virus screening and treatment program that was able to treat about 4 million patients. The sizable Egyptian program relied on establishing a network of specialized viral hepatitis treatment facilities that provides integrated care for hepatitis C virus patients. By screening more than 49 million persons over a period of seven months, Egypt managed to identify more than 2 million hepatitis C virus seropositive persons and refer them for evaluation and treatment. Identifying and treating all infected patients is a major step toward disease elimination in the country that used to have the highest global prevalence and uh, towards the first uh, national level elimination of hepatitis C virus infection. Despite this great effort to eradicate hepatitis C virus in Egypt, the expected result will be significant elimination and not eradication of the disease in Egypt. There is an urgent need to strengthen prevention efforts as the nosocomial infection still represent an important challenge to the healthcare system in Egypt. Thank you very much.